What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have got another testing video for you guys and this one is definitely very interesting and it's going to be all about the scope glare in Battlefield 2042. In this video we're going to be testing both A how the glare actually works as in what causes your weapon to give glare to the enemy and then B we're also going to be testing which weapons and scopes actually show glare as surprisingly enough it is actually not the same depending on the weapon class. The exact same scope might give glare on one weapon and actually not give glare on another weapon so we're going to be going through all of that in today's video and then at the end of the video I'm actually going to show essentially like a little graphic of all the info that you guys need to know is there is actually quite a bit to take in and it's going to be pretty hard to remember so I'll show that right at the end so you guys can probably just screenshot that and you'll kind of have that ready for if you're trying to make a class and you can just quickly pull that up so definitely stick around to the end of the video to see the graphic with all of those weapons and scopes that give off glare so the first thing that we're going to be going through is essentially just how the glare actually works I'm sure you all know what I mean when I say glare but for those who don't know the glare is essentially when you're aiming down sights depending on the scope that you're using the enemy can actually see that big sort of glare coming off of your scope it almost looks like they're aiming a flashlight at you and it kind of just gives you a bit of a warning which is essentially just done for balancing reasons obviously if you're hiding in a bush as a sniper and you don't have any glare then you're going to be pretty much impossible to see and so it is kind of just a counter to those really campy snipers or really just any sniper in general it just kind of gives you a, a little bit of a warning that you are being looked at and gives you a bit of a better chance to try and dodge that shot now how the glare works is that when an enemy is looking directly at you and they're scoped in obviously depending on the scope and we'll go through the scopes in a minute when they're looking directly at you it will shine the absolute brightest and then essentially as they move away from you slightly it will get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until essentially at a certain angle they will no longer actually show glare so if they're not looking at you but they're aimed down sight you can't see glare but if you're even remotely in their line of sight then you will be able to see their glare and then obviously like I said the more central that you are in their scope so if your head is literally right in the center of their crosshair as you guys can see on screen it will kind of give a bit more of that like bloom effect where there's the the sort of horizontal lines going across and then as you can see as they move away it just becomes a bit more of a dot now rather than going through every single scope and trying to bore you guys with essentially just repetitive tests I'm just going to show them on screen and not really bother to you know explain exactly which one we're looking through at the moment what I can say from testing the SWS and I did test this with the other snipers too the weapons all seem to work in classes rather than individual weapons so if one sniper does it then the other snipers do it and same goes for all of the other classes and with the SWS 10 anything below the four times sight will not give any glare at all so if you're using a sight with 3.5 times then it won't give you any glare whatsoever from a sniper but as soon as you get to either the four times the six times the eight times or the ten times scopes all of those weapons as you guys can see on screen they will give off glare and so that's a very easy way to remember it with the snipers essentially anything above a four times sight will give the enemy glare when you're looking at them now that is a very handy thing to know because obviously the difference between a 3.5 times scope and a 4 times scope it's really not that much at all however one of them being the 3.5 times scope that obviously won't give off any glare so it's pretty good to know that you can actually run around with a sniper and use a 3.5 times scope if you may be playing a bit more aggressively and you guys can rest assured that you're essentially not going to show up on the enemy screen when you're sniping at them if you are using a 3.5 times scope or below obviously anything above that though from the 4 times or up they all give off glare so with those ones it's obviously just down to personal preference which one you want to use I tested whether they actually give off more glare for example does the 10 times give off more glare than the six times as far as I can tell there is no difference in glare it either gives off glare or it doesn't so you don't have to worry about if you're using the 10 times it's going to be brighter or something like that they all operate exactly the same and so considering snipers are the main thing that I'm you know trying to test in this because let's be honest who really uses a four times scope on pretty much any other weapon other than maybe a marksman rifle it is good to just know that yeah with the snipers four times and above will be giving off glare and 3.5 times or below and that obviously includes the iron sights as well none of those will give off the glare so that is a good little baseline that we have there now and like I said that works not only for the SWS 10 but for the DXR as well as the NTW now just as a last little bit of testing I then went and tested this on all of the other weapon classes in the game obviously with say an assault rifle you can actually have a four times and a six times and what I found is that with the assault rifles the four times actually doesn't give off the glare even though it does for the sniper rifles however the six times will give off glare just like the snipers obviously I don't think many people are going to be using a six times on any of the assault rifles maybe a scar but even then I'm just really not sure that many people use that but it is still good to know and then yeah if you're going to use a really really zoomed in sight on an assault rifle then the four times doesn't give off any glare so like I said kind of pointless info because I don't think many people use that but it is still good to know either way now next up I went and tested the PBX for the SMG class and I believe that none of the SMGs actually have anything above a four times scope so there's no six times like they have for the assault rifles but 
but weirdly enough, the four times scope actually does give glare on the SMGs. Now, again, I don't think many people are going to use a four times scope, so it's really not that relevant, but it was worth testing anyway. And so again, if you're going to use something really zoomed in on an SMG, then you are best to just use a three times or a 3.5 times rather than the four times, because that will give off glare just like the snipers. Now, the LMGs and the shotguns, neither of them have any scopes that actually show any glare at all. I did do a few tests on those and yeah, none of those show any glare. So with an LMG or a shotgun, you don't have to ever worry about glare, but I did also test it on the marksman rifles and the results were exactly the same as the assault rifles. The six times sight will give off glare. However, the four times won't, which again, it's kind of weird because the four times does on both snipers and SMGs really weirdly, but on a marksman rifle and an assault rifle, it doesn't give off glare on those two. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if this is intentional. It almost seems like on the SMGs, the ARs and the marksman rifles, essentially just the highest zoomed in scope will give glare while the rest won't. That could be the way that it's working. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, if you're using a four times scope on a marksman, then you will not show up on the enemy screen. So there you guys have it for all of the weapons and scopes that do or do not show glare in the Battlefield 2042. I'm not going to bother going through all of that again. So you guys can just feel free to pause the video and sort of look that overall. Like I said, you can even just feel free to screenshot that. And then maybe one day when you're making some classes, you can just easily access that. If you do find that any of these are wrong, keep in mind, I only tested one weapon for each class. So for example, maybe the scar has different, you know, settings, I guess, or properties than the M5A3. If you find that I'm wrong on any of these and I've just, you know, I've tested the M5 and that's right, but then the rest aren't, then definitely let me know. What I did was I tested the M5 and then I also tested the AC42 and they had the same results. So I just assumed that if one weapon in, you know, whatever class does or doesn't have glare, then the same results will happen for the other weapons in that class. But like I said, if I did get any of those wrong, definitely feel free to let me know down in the comments and I will try and correct that in a future video. But I did sit here and test this for probably around 45 minutes to an hour. So I feel like I've done a fairly thorough job on the testing, but yeah, mistakes can be made. So definitely let me know if I've done any wrong. That is going to do it for this one though, guys. If there's any other tests that you guys want me to do in Battlefield 2042, then definitely let me know down in the comments as well. I do have plenty more testing videos coming up. I'm actually going to be testing Irish's Sentinel system, what it can actually stop and what it can't stop. And I've got a bunch of other testing videos like that on the way. But if you guys have anything specific, then definitely let me know. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like down below and if you guys are new to the channel then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any upcoming Battlefield 2042 content. If you guys want to support the content that I make here on YouTube then consider becoming a channel member but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there on the battlefield.